From the 6th of April, Sahrawi students have been suffering from violent attacks by a group of what I call criminals whom are motivated and paid by the Moroccan authorities. We have been staging peaceful manifestations and marches for two weeks now, protesting against those cruel attacks that we are suffering very often, especially at the time of our examination. This is the campus at night. It's 12.30 at night, and the Sahrawi students are in, are in groups. They can't sleep in their rooms because they are afraid of the attack of that uh, of that group that is motivated from the Moroccan government. So there are some who are watching over. In case the group come, they can tell the students and that they that we can run away and hide. And there are others who are spending the night here, having their rest. Some have a rest sleep and the others watch and they are making their turn. This is the place where many Sahrawi students spend the night. We are here at the campus and the girls are helping to make it a suitable place for the guys to, to sleep. And they are, you know, making food for them and serving them. The same place is made also as a place where the Sahrawi students, the victims of the attack, are here to get the, the medicines, and they are simple medicines, because the hospital is also creating another threat for us, because the police will come and maybe arrest the students. So he is here, his name is Titi Hassan, and now he will tell us his story. حسن he said that he was sleeping uh, on Monday in his house and then uh, and then five people stormed his house. Five of that group who is uh, motivated by the Moroccan government and they attacked him. He said that they were they were having swords swords and they uh, uh, he's injured in his face, in his fingers. Uh, in his fa uh, in his foot and also in his back, in his shoulder. And he said that he was asked by them about some other Sahrawi students who are active in the university, and but he refused to give them any information. These are the Sahrawi girls. I bring them food for the guys. <laughs> <laughs> and they are coming back to the campus, to their place. These are the students who were asleep here the night, and uh, they are eating dinner, the food that the girls have served for them. When I have been eating with them dinner, they told me that the, um, there are two other groups or three they haven't eaten their dinner, so he will take the food for them. <laughs> the other group is um, near the door. They are also watching in case that the Moroccan group would come. He's taking the food for them. That's the other group.
Here is um, the Harawi Students Group who are reporting all the events that have been happening, I mean that have been happening in the university. They are reporting the names of the victims and what have done so far, I mean the attacks that we have been suffering from. This is the way how we work. by that group. This is our friend, she is showing the, the, clothes, the clothes of our friend who has been attacked by that group. This is my friend Latif al habib who was attacked by that Moroccan group on Sunday, the 13th of April. And he spent two days at the hospital. And now he's out of the hospital and in a sacred place in one of our friends, the Sahrawi student's house because we don't want him to be um, followed by the police. He said that Sahrawi people are struggling to get their rights and he is appealing to the world that to help Sahrawi people and uh, uh, the civilian population. <laughs> especially the Sahrawi students. Today is Wednesday, the 16th of April, 2008. Sahrawi students are still continuing their peaceful way in to struggle against the brutal attack that we have been suffering for two weeks from the Moroccan group, which is motivated by the Moroccan authorities. Now Sahrawi students are making a march and demanding the release of our friend Khalilina Abu Hassan.
Panther. We started in the Faculty of Law and now coming in this march to the Faculty of Letters. taking their exams at the time that we are prevented to take our exams too. This is a part of the Moroccan propaganda. This is a Moroccan newspaper. Its name is Al Alam. And it's writing about uh, the situation in Marrakesh. But it, it's not telling the truth that it's just telling some lies that Sahara residents are fighting each other. But the truth is that the Sahara residents are suffering brutal attacks from that Moroccan group which is motivated by the Moroccan authorities. 